started. So as always, a few moments just to get grounded in a tall, comfortable seat, however that looks like for you. And just sit up really, really tall. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Either allow the gaze to soften or eyes to close. Allow your palms to rest wherever feels comfortable. And just allow the breath to flow freely through the body, from the crown of the head all the way up through the tips of your toes. Just keep the breath nice and steady. And then start to let go of the morning, the afternoon. Everything that'll happen in the evening has yet to happen. And just drop into both the breath and the body. As you sit up really tall, just visualize the string coming out of the crown of your head. Somebody's pulling that all the way up towards the ceiling. So you sit super, super tall. And then feel the sit bones, how heavy they are almost as if somebody were pushing both hips down into the ground. Feel the knees, how they start to fall a little passively closer towards the ground as well. And then the low belly starts to tone up. So can you visualize the navel drawing in towards the spine? Send breath into the spaces in between each vertebra and allow both sides of the waist to grow tall up towards the ceiling. Begin to shrug your shoulders up, back, then down away from your ears. And feel the sense of broadness through the chest. Allow the heart to float up towards the ceiling as you pull the base of your skull back. Just allow the shoulders to stack directly over the hips. And as you feel the breath course through every single cell of your body, just notice the breath cadence. Is noticing how the rib cage gently expands and contracts with each inhalation and each exhalation. As you allow the breath to course through the body, we'll sync it up together through three cleansing rounds of breath. To start, take a big exhale, empty out all the air. We'll do three rounds together. Take a deep inhale, fill it from the very, very base of your belly. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Two more. Deep inhale into the lungs, expand your ribcage. Open mouth, exhale. Okay, so one more. Deep inhale into the chest, collarbones, head. Open mouth, exhale. And begin to draw both palms towards heart center as that feels authentic to you. And just take these last few moments just to set an intention for practice. So setting an intention for practice is new to you. You can, and I think about this as your motivation for coming to your mat, for showing up for yourself. You have many things that you can be doing with your time, but you made a conscious decision to be here in your body. So what is it that you need or want out of this practice? And how can this practice be of support, of service to you? One of those ways is to allow this practice to meet you where you're at today, both physically, mentally, emotionally. So if there's anything that doesn't serve you today, just let it go. You draw your attention towards the top of your mind. Alongside your breath, allow it to guide your practice. And we'll share our collective intentions through one more round of breath together. Deep inhale. And exhale. So whenever you feel ready, palms release, eyes blink open. Beautiful. I'll actually have you get started on your bellies today. So come all the way flat to your belly. Set up in a sphinx pose. So sphinx pose, you have your elbows underneath your chest, or rather underneath your shoulders so that the chest stays nice and open. And then take the head. Feel the collarbones nice and broad. And very lightly begin to dig your pelvis, your pubic bone down and towards the ground. And take a round of breath here just to feel this back bend for the first inhalation and exhalation. Uh, with your left, the top of your left foot, lightly dig that down into the ground, kind of like you would for Cobra Bhujangasana. And then I want you to draw your right heel towards your right glute. Now visualize there was something in between the glute and the right heel. I want you to kick that 
So find that action and then start to feel the quads, the hamstrings fire up. Beautiful. Gently undo that. And then switch. Lightly dig the top of your right foot in towards the mat. And then bend your left knee heel towards your glute. I just visualize this imaginary resistance. There's something in between your heel and your glute. You're trying to crush that. Just one more breath here. And then gently undo it. One more time each side. Lightly dig the top of your left foot into the mat. And then right heel towards your right glute. And then at the same time, squeeze through your inner thighs. So you should start to feel both quads lightly engaged, hamstring, glute engaged. And then gently release, last time. Dig down in towards the right, and then left heel draws towards your left glute. All at the same time, you're keeping the chest open, pressing your elbows, palms into the ground. Slowly undo that. And then slide your palms and your shoulders, begin to tuck your toes. Come to all fours, your tabletop. Okay, from your tabletop here, root down through the right palm, reach your left fingertips forward. Then extend the right leg up and back in the space behind you. As you do this, firm up through your low belly and then kick with your right foot towards the back and then reach through the left. Okay, so a little bit of core stabilization. Take a smooth inhale breath to prepare. And then exhale, crunch your elbow to your knee to draw your chin in towards your chest. We'll do this two more times. Reach and kick. And then exhale, curl. Elbow to knee, chin to chest. Nice, one more time, inhale, reach and extend. And then exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest. Nice, inhale, reach and extend, hold here. Bend your right knee, draw your heel up towards the ceiling. Nice, firm up through your low belly and then drive your heel up as high as you can. Stay or take your left hand, sweep it all the way around. Yeah, if you have a grip, great. If you don't, also great. Not really important. We're trying to fire up the hamstring and glute. You got it. You got it, Elaine. One more breath. Beautiful. And then undo it. Nice. We'll switch sides. So you're down through your left palm. Right fingertips reach forward. Nice. Roll the left leg up and back in space. Firm up through the low belly. So there's a tendency for the hips to drop, belly to drop. Keep that nice and level. And then on your exhale, crunch everything in. Elbow to knee, chin to chest. Beautiful. Two more. Still in control. Reach forward. Kick back. And then exhale, curl everything in, chin to chest, elbow to knee. Nice, one more time. Reach and extend. And then exhale, curl everything in. Beautiful, begin to reach forward, hold here. First, bend your left knee, drive your heel up, 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 up. Yeah. Squeeze through the inner thighs, stay, or left hand sweeps all the way around. Perhaps you get a grip, perhaps you don't. Not super important. I want you to feel the heel drive a little higher up. And one more breath. Beautiful. Undo it. Come back to all fours. Really nice. Uh, take a few rounds of cow cow. Just decompress through the spine. So drop your belly, raise your gaze, chest forward, cow pose. Exhale, curl your chin in towards your chest, navel up and in, press the ground away. Inhale for cow. And exhale, cat. It's just a few more like this. And allow these movements to be nice and natural. So if there's anything that feels good that you would like to add here, go for it. Nice. We'll do about three more rounds. Nice. One more here. Beautiful. Come to a neutral tabletop, then tuck your toes, draw the hips up and back, come into a downward facing dog. Just take a moment, bend one knee, bend the other, and just say hello to the backs of the legs, the shoulders, arms. And then coming to stillness, feet about hip width distance-ish, hands about shoulder width distance-ish. Any amount of bend to your knees is cool, especially if the upper back is rounding. 
On your inhale breath, begin to glide forward. Allow the shoulders to stack over the wrists. Press the ground away from you. You're always welcome to lower down to your knees at any time as well. Yeah, we'll do this two more times. Shift the hips up and back. Come into a downward facing dog. On your inhale breath, once more, glide forward. Shift weight forward. Feel the heels being pressed up and over your toes. And then exhale, draw the hips up and back, downward facing dog. It's one more just like this. Inhale, glide forward, shift forward. Next, continue to press, press, press. This time, lower knees. Come all the way down to your belly. Set up for Cobra Bhujangasana. Lift just your chest. You got little to no weight here. And then exhale, undo it. Sweep your palms back behind you. Shalabhasana locus. Lift the arms, chest, legs. Feel the entire back body fire up. And then exhale, release. Slide your palms near your shoulders, tuck your toes. And then press up either to a tabletop or plank. Exhale, shift the hips up and back down. We're facing up. Nice, big inhale breath. And smooth exhale breath. And set your gaze forward. And then feet to meet your hands, come to the top of your mat. Nice, halfway lift, long, long spine. And then exhale, fold forward. Really nice. Inhale, arms extend all the way up towards the ceiling, press through both feet. Really nice. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. A few half salutations, halfway lift, long spine. Then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms extend all the way up towards the ceiling, press through both feet. Beautiful. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. You got a halfway lift, look forward, lengthen. And then exhale, deepen the fold. Once more, inhale, arms extend all the way up towards the ceiling, press through both feet. And then exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Nice halfway lift, long spine. This time, hands flat, step back, high plank. Nice. Once more, big inhale, breath, press the ground away from you. Then exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Okay, set up for cobra once more. Bhujangasana, lift just your chest. Little to no weight in your hands. And then exhale, release. Palms sweep back behind you. Lift the arms, chest, legs. And then everything releases. From here, palms to your shoulders, listen. Begin to press your hips back towards your heels. Then slide your palms near the knees. Come to standing on your shins. Nice. As you come to standing on your shins, we'll set up for a baby or stress on a baby camel. So nothing super, super deep, just a very gentle back bend. Place your hands to your low back above your hips. And then allow the hips to shift forward past the knees. Lengthen through the spinal column and then tip back any amount. At the same time, I want you to squeeze your glutes, dig your knees, the tops of your feet down into the ground. Take one more big breath, heart lifts up, and then exhale, undo it, come back to center. Walk your hands forward, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Do this one more time, smooth inhale breath, smooth exhale breath. Nice. Inhale, gaze forward, and then exhale, feet to meet your hands, top of your mat. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms ascend all the way up towards the ceiling, press through both feet. Very nice. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Halfway lift, look forward, long, long spine. Exhale, hands flat, step back once more, high plank. Big inhale breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Cobra, your Bhujangasana. Little to no weight in your hands. I want you to feel as if you're dragging your palms towards your rib cage, rib cage forward. Exhale, slowly release. Beautiful. Begin to press yourself all the way up to all fours. Then walk your hands back towards your knees. Once more, you'll come to standing on your shins. Support your low back, so hands just above the hips. 
Lengthen through the spinal column, feel the heart reach as you shift your pelvis forward. Then exhale, tip your head back any amount. While you're here, squeeze through the glutes, dig through the tops of your shin. Feel the front of the body open up as the back body stays nice and engaged. Really nice. Exhale, slowly come back towards center. Walk your hands forward, then tuck your toes, hips up and back. Uddhamukhasvanasana, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale breath and smooth exhale breath. Nice. Inhale, gaze forward. And then exhale, feet to meet your hands, top of your mat. Nice. Halfway lift, long spine. And then exhale, fold forward. Lunging salutations. Inhale, arms extend all the way up towards the ceiling. Press through both feet. This time, hands draw towards your heart. Release your hands to your sides. Inhale, arms extend all the way up, gaze up. You got it. And then exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Nice halfway lift, look forward, lengthen. This time, hands flat, step your right foot back, lower your right knee down. Nice inhale, low lunge, Ardha Anjaneyasana, arms reach and extend. And then right away, I want you to place both hands to the top of your left thigh. You place both hands to the top of your left thigh, press everything away from you. Now release this, shift your hips forward and down. So I want you to extend through the front right hip deeply, left knee past your left ankle. Yeah. As you do this, re-extend your arms all the way up and overhead. Yeah. Beautiful, exhale, hands flat to the mat, step back, high plank. Nice big inhale, breath once more. Exhale, lower all the way down. This time you'll come in towards the sphinx pose. So elbows underneath your chest like we started at the beginning of class. Yeah. Take a big inhale, breath, gaze forward. Modified forearm plank to start. Exhale, curl your chin in towards your chest. Feel the rib cage lift, belly lift, hips lift, come to your knees. Cinch everything in towards the center. Stay here or tuck your toes, lift your knees, your shins. Come into a forearm plank. Take one more big breath and then slowly lower knees, thighs, hips, come back to your sphinx. One more time just like this. Inhale, gaze forward, chest broad. Exhale, curl your chin in towards your chest. Vertebra by vertebra, everything lifts. Either stay on your knees or tuck your toes, lift your shins, forearm plank once more. Press the ground away from you. Then with control, lower knees, thighs, hips, come back to your sphinx. Inhale, breath. Then exhale, lower everything down. Transition back, downward facing dog. Nice, from your downward facing dog, draw the right leg up and back in space. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands. Nice, lower the left knee down, rise all the way up, low lunge. Okay. Roughly allow the right knee over the right ankle as opposed to sitting down super low like we just did. And then please bring your, rather, please bring your left hand behind your, or left hand to your left hip, right hand, right hip. Could have worded that way easier. <laughs> From here, I want you to draw your heel towards your glutes. So you might need to uh, fold your mat over. Uh, just a little padding for your knee, and then heel towards your glute once more. So option one, you'll take your left hand, so I'll grab a hold of your left foot here. Okay. Option two, you'll take your right hand to meet the left hand, so both hands are holding your left foot. As you drive your heel towards your glute, see if you can kick into your hand, so broaden through the chest, shoulder heads pull back a bit. Also a little bit of a balance challenge here as well. So stamp down through your right foot a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Take one more smooth breath. Really nice. With control, gently undo it. Hands will frame the right foot. Nice. Lift through the left knee, and then step forward, top of your mat. Find a halfway lift, look forward, lengthen. Then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms extend all the way up towards the ceiling, press through both feet. Really nice. Palms slide towards your heart, then release your hands to your sides. Really nice. Inhale, arms extend all the way up, gaze up. 
Then exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Nice. Halfway lift, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, hands flat, step your left foot back. Then lower the left knee down. Inhale, low lunge, Ardha Anjaneyasana. And once more, both hands to the top of your right thigh. I want you to press everything away from you, chest off of your right thigh. And then remove your hands. I want you to sink your hips forward and down as much as you can. At the same time, you're digging your left shin down. Begin to draw your arms all the way up and overhead. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Feel the pubic bone lift. Yeah. Nice. One more breath. And then hands flat to the mat. Step back, high plank. Nice. Big inhale breath. Pop up through the upper back. Then exhale, lower with control. We'll do sphinx roll-ups two times when we did other side. So flatten through the palms, gaze forward, chest forward. Exhale, curl your chin in towards your chest, vertebra by vertebra, everything lifts. You either come to your knees or tuck your toes, lift the knees and shins, forearm plank. Then with control, lower knees, thighs, hips, come back to your sphinx. Deep inhale, breath. Once more, exhale, curl everything in, chin towards your chest, vertebra by vertebra, everything lifts. So feel the low belly toned up. Glutes engaged, stay on your knees or tuck your toes, lift your shins. Nice, slowly lower knees, thighs, hips back to your sphinx. Inhale, breath here for the back bend. Then exhale, lower all the way down, transition back, downward facing dog. All right, left leg extends up and back. Exhale, draw your foot in between your hands, lower the right knee down. Once more, rise up, low lunge, Ardha Anjaneyasana. Then begin to set both hands to your hips. First, set this up. You can roll over your mat, set your knee on top. Then, right heel towards your right glute. So you can stay here. Option one, you'll take your right hand, grab a hold of the baby toe edge of your foot. Then option two, you can take your left hand, grab a hold of your foot. So left hand to meet the right. And a big old quad stretch here. And just notice if you're shifting your pelvis forward, do your best to keep the torso upright, front ribs in. And then as you draw your heel towards your glute, kick into your hand. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, Elaine. You got it, Tyler. Take one more breath. And then gently release that. Hands frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee and then step forward towards the top of your mat. Nice, halfway lift, inhale. Then exhale, fold forward. But anyways, go ahead and look at your feet. Keep them about hips with distance. What katasana, your fierce pose, chair pose. So bend both knees, hips down and back. Once you are here, I want you to see if you can lower your seat as you reach the arms forward. See if you can allow the hips to be in line with the knees. So really, really firing up the quads. As you do this, feel as if you're reaching a block or a box forward to somebody else. Take one more big breath, lower your seat just a little more. A good majority of your weight is in your heels. And then exhale, fold forward, release. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Nice. This time, feet as close as comfortable to touch. I still keep this amount of space into my feet anyway. Once more, you'll sit down low, find your chair pose. Beautiful. From here, you should be able to see a good majority, or rather all 10 toes past your heel, or past your knees. A good majority of your weight is in your heels. And you'll take your right hand towards your right hip. As you take your right hand towards your right hip, I want you to lengthen through the left side of your waist. Yeah. So Elaine, you got your right hand to your right hip. Yeah, beautiful. All right, from here as you lengthen through the left, I want you to tip on over towards your right. So you're bumping your entire pelvis over towards the left, creating this crescent moon shape, this arc shape through the left side of your body. As you continue to sink down low, go ahead and bend your left elbow. Either it comes in between your knees or to the outside of your right thigh and allow the right palm to join here. Release. 
As you do this, see if you can allow the seat to be far, far lower than the shoulder girdle, and then use your left elbow as leverage to draw the right shoulder a little further back into space. Take one more big breath. Really nice. Then exhale, fold forward, release. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Once more, sit down low, find your chair pose, your fierce pose. Continue to draw your seat down into an imaginary chair. And then this time you'll take your left hand towards your left hip, lengthen through the right side of your waist. So you've got, you're starting to create this curvature through the right side, then tip on all the way over towards your left. So you're reaching all the way over through your right ring, right middle finger, and then inflating through the right side of your rib cage. As you're ready, bend your right elbow, either comes in between your knees or to the outside of your left thigh. Left palm comes to join, so your revolved chair twist. And then visualize your pelvis a lot lower than your left shoulder. Press your palms together, pull your chest forward towards the thumbs. Take one more big breath. And then exhale, fold forward, release. Halfway lift, inhale. And then from here, it's your choice. Hands flat, step back. You can go to a downward facing dog or if you have a vinyasa practice, you can go for that. We'll meet in a downward facing dog whenever you are ready. Beautiful, take a full inhale breath and smooth exhale breath. One more please, deep inhale. And smooth exhale. Nice. Draw the right leg up and back in the space. Then exhale, step your foot in between your hands. This time you'll rise up to a high lunge, crescent lunge. So stamp down through your right foot, lift up and out of your waist, torso reaches, arms extend all the way up and overhead. Beautiful. So the first time here, we were in low lunge with the knee down. That is also an option that you can take at any time. But I want you to feel as if I'm pressing your heel up and over your toes and sink down low through the right knee. Yeah. As you do this, take an open arm twist to the right, left palm forward. Extend your right fingertips back behind you. Now, as you are here, I want you to feel as if I'm pulling both wrists to opposite ends of the room. Continue to stay low into the right knee. And then you'll take your right hand to your left hip. As you do this, arc the left arm up and back in space. So you're creating length through the left side of your body, a little bit of a back bend, as a little bit of a twist as well. Keep the stability into your legs. Okay. One more breath, reach a little further back. Beautiful, left palm down, right fingertips extend all the way up. So keep the left hip nice and lifted, squeeze through the inner thighs. Really nice. Take one more smooth breath. Can you lean the right shoulder a little further back? And then exhale, right palm down. Either step back to a downward facing dog or optional vinyasa here. Downward facing dog whenever you feel ready. Full inhale into your back bend if you're taking it. And then full exhale, shift the hips up and back. Deep inhale breath. Smooth exhale breath. Yes, we'll do the other side. So left leg extends up and back behind you. Exhale, draw your foot in between your hands. Squeeze through the inner thighs, use your low belly strength. Lift up, torso rises, arms extend all the way up. Beautiful, nice. So set up your alignment, match what you did on the other side. Keep the same, or keep the 90 degree lunge through the left knee as you extend fully through your right leg. Beautiful. We got an open arm twist to the left this time. So right palm forward, left fingertips extend back. Yeah. As best as you can, keep the pelvis from moving with you, roughly square. So allow the twist to originate from the middle of your back. Yeah. And then continue to reach. I'm pulling both wrists to opposite ends of the room. Then you'll take your left hand to your right hip. Arc the right arm up and back behind you. And bring your gaze with you. 
you'd like, but keep your balance. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Reach a little further back. So you're extending through the front right waist, a little bit of a twist side bend. Really nice. Very carefully float your right palm down. Extend the left fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. Really nice. Actively press the ground away from you. Bring the left shoulder a little further back in space. Head tips back just a bit. Beautiful. You got it. One more breath. And then left palm down, step back. You have your options, vinyasa or hips up and back, straight to a downward facing dog. Full inhale through your back bend. And full exhale, shift the hips up and back. Nice. Take a smooth inhale, breath build up. And smooth exhale, breath let it go. Beautiful. You got one more just like this, big inhale. And then smooth exhale. Nice. Anyway, so inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, feet to meet your hands. And then come to standing on your knees once more. Nice. Anyway, so if you come to standing on your knees once more, a little more um, back body strengthening, and then you'll really feel the quads. So I'll face you. You can bring your hands to your hips hands to heart center, or if you really want to torture yourself, then bring the arms forward. From here, all you're doing is you're leaning your torso back. Yeah, what this is not, this is not shifting the hips back. So there's that difference. Keep the entire trunk nice and straight, kind of like a board. So you have your options, hands to your hips, hands towards heart center, or again, you really want that challenge, arms reach forward. From here, lengthen through the spinal column, and then visualize you have a block in between your inner thighs, squeeze that, and then lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. Yeah, really, really nice. Squeeze through the inner thighs, hold here. Nice, and then slowly make your way back towards center. We'll do this two more times. Lengthen up through the spinal column, so heart lifts up, and then exhale, tip back, tip back, tip back, tip back. Squeeze through the glutes, inner thighs, Prevent your hips from dipping down. So feel as if the hips were lifting up as well. Nice. Beautiful. Slowly make your way back towards center. We got one more just like this. Stay with it. Big inhale, breath, lift. And then exhale, squeeze through the inner thighs. Tip your torso back any amount. So it doesn't have to be super, super deep. You'll feel the quads working right away. Yeah. Take a big inhale, breath. And then exhale, come back towards center. Come to sitting on your shins. Hands to your thighs. Take a few rounds of breath. Recalibrate the breath. Smooth inhale. Really nice. And then smooth exhale. One more. Big inhale. And smooth exhale. When you're ready, downward facing dog once more. All right, from your downward facing dog, right leg draws up and back behind you. And then exhale, peel the right hip open, drive the baby toe edge of your right foot all the way up towards the ceiling. And feel free to bend into your right knee as you'd like, or keep it straight. Nice. Inhale, right leg up and back, so allow the right hip to draw down. Then exhale, step your foot in between your hands. You'll set up for a warrior one, left foot in, about a footprint, then turn the toes out to about 45-ish degrees. Lift up and out of your waist. And then as you lift up and out of your waist, arms extend all the way up. Keep a sink into your right knee so the lunge is still there. Feel as if you're wearing a corset, so both sides of the waist really long. Then interlace your hands behind your low back. Draw the shoulders up, down, and back, pull back, chest broad. Exhale, bow forward. So you'll draw your right shoulder to the top of or to the inside of your right thigh. Allow the knuckles to draw all the way up and overhead. Alternatively, you can grab the hem of your shirt as well. As you are here, just keep grounding down through the left heel. Press weight into the baby toe edge of your left foot as well. Nice. Take one more deep breath. And then gently release both hands to the inside of your right foot. From here, I want you to walk your hands off of your mat towards the left side. 
So you're still keeping the lunge into your right knee. And as you walk your hands off your mat towards the left side, continue to walk them forward as far as you can. Press the ground away from you, lift up through the hips. So it's like a hybrid between downward facing dog and a lunge here. As you press the ground away from you, feel your chest draw a little closer towards your mat. We'll take one more deep breath. Put pressure into all 10 finger pads. Then begin to lift your head, walk your hands back, frame your right foot. Step back, downward facing dog. It's a big inhale breath and smooth exhale breath. We got the other side. Left leg extends up and back. Exhale, draw your foot in between your hands. Set up for your warrior one. Scoot the right foot in. Turn the toes out to about two-ish o'clock. Then lift your torso, arms extend all the way up and overhead. Okay, so you got your warrior one. Beautiful. Okay, same alignment as you did so other side. So left knee over the left ankle. Lift up and out of your waist, pubic bone lifts. And then you got weight even between the baby toe edge, big toe edge of your back. Yeah. Then you'll take the unusual grip. Whichever thumb does not land on top now is doing that. Draw the shoulders up, down, then back, pull back. A little bit of back bend. Exhale, bow forward. Left shoulder, top of, inside of your left thigh. You're landing into your bound warrior, humble warrior on this left side. So I'm not expecting your head to come all the way down towards the mat, but just feel how heavy your head is. And that acts as leverage to allow the shoulders to draw back. Chest opens a little further. Knuckles draw forward. Take one more breath here. And like you did on the other side, release both hands to the inside of your left foot. So legs will stay as is. Then walk your hands all the way off your mat towards the right. So we'll say, we'll call this about two-ish o'clock. And then continue to reach them as far forward as you can. Allow the chest to sink down towards your mat. Put pressure into your palms. And then feel the outer left hip, inner left hip. And then visualize more weight through the baby toe edge of your right foot as you press the ground away. Take one more deep breath. Nice. Go ahead and lift your head, and then walk your hands back to frame your left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale breath, fill it up. Smooth exhale breath, let it go. It's one more just like this, big inhale. Smooth exhale. Right, one more standing thing. Inhale, gaze forward. Then exhale, feet to meet your hands, come to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Then exhale, fold forward. Nice. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms extend all the way up and overhead. Then draw both hands towards your hips. As you draw both hands towards your hips, shift weight into your left foot, but stand firm through the left leg. You stand firm through the left leg, right heel towards your right glute. So very similar to what we did in the beginning of class. As you draw your right heel towards your right glute, visualize the space in between your glute and your heel. You're trying to shorten that, close that gap. Now, lift your heel up as high as you can. So the pelvis will start to tilt forward a bit. You'll create a curvature through the low back. So I'll kind of, I'll move so that you can see. Yeah. And then once here, feel the hamstring fire up, quad fire up. Continue to lift your foot up. Beautiful, so it's like dancer with no hands. Now we'll transition towards dancer, not to adjust that. Reach the left palm forward. Then right hand will grab the big toe edge of your foot. Kick and lift any amount. So it might not be super, super deep, that's totally okay. I do not have a very deep back bend, so this is kind of as far as it's going. And as you do that, kick into your hand once more. So you feel the front of your right hip, right quad, and then the posterior part of your hip, glute, outer right hip work. One more breath, beautiful, undo it, shake it out. Anyways, I'm sweaty too, I'm doing this with you guys. <laughs> All right, so come back to standing, and we'll switch that. Shift weight into the right foot, 
And then instead of letting the right hip drop down, stand firm through the right leg, hands to your hips. Then when you're ready, bend your left knee, heel towards your glute. As you draw your heel towards your glute, one, maintain your balance, two, squeeze the inner thighs together. So once more, pubic bone lifts. And then when you're ready, go ahead and lift your left heel up, 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 up. So pelvis will tilt forward a bit. Yeah. Feel the front ribs kind of flare out. Then as you continue to lift your heel up really, really high, keep this. Right palm forward, left hand grabs to the big toe edge of your foot. Any amount of kick and lift. As best as you can, level out the left hip in line with the right, so you're not peeling open. Yeah. And if you fall out of it, all good. You got one more big breath. Maintain your balance, your, the control of your breath as well. Beautiful. When you're ready, slowly undo it, shake it out. Really nice. We'll just do one salutation. Inhale, arms extend all the way up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Halfway lift, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, hands flat, step back. You have an optional and final vinyasa here, or hips up and back straight to a downward facing dog is cool. Full inhale through your back bend. Add full exhale, shift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, breath fill up. And then smooth exhale, breath, let it go. One more, please, deep inhale. And smooth exhale. Okay. Go ahead and lower down to your knees. And then just watch me really quickly. So we'll try a different entry towards Vashtrasana Camel. Um, you might be used to, you might be used to it where you um, support your low back first, then tip back like we did in the beginning, but I'll have you enter it a different way. That way we can just continue to open up through the front of the body and then utilize the strength that we built through the back of the body. So what you'll do is you'll actually come to sitting on your shins and then you'll grab for your heels. Feet will be, or rather knees will be a little wider just to accommodate that. And then when you do, when you grab a hold of your heels, you don't have to have a super tight grip. You can just allow the finger pads to kind of rest on that. You'll use your low belly strength, lift your hips up, then allow the hips to come forward, tip your head back and hang out. So very different, kind of awkward. And if you don't come up super high, that's also okay. I'm not really concerned about the hips coming over the knees, just the lift of your pelvis. And then you'll go back the same way you came. Try to bring your hips back towards your heels. Cool? Okay, just try it. If it feels awkward, that's because it is awkward. <laughs> so as best as you can, grab a hold of your heels or just allow the middle finger ring or middle and index finger just to touch the heels. And then just separate your knees a little wider than you might be used to. Yeah, really nice. You can tip your uh, torso back so that you feel the chest lift. Then dig into the tops of your feet, your shins, and then do your best to lift up. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. You got it. Squeeze through the inner thighs, glutes, chest lifts. And then go back the way you came Allow the pelvis to drop down. Really nice. Beautiful and then come back to sitting on your shins. Take a smooth inhale breath, and smooth exhale breath. Beautiful, child's pose please. Big toes to touch behind you, knees out super, super wide. Belly hangs in the space in between your knees, forehead rests, rests on the ground, arms extend forward. And as you are here in this child's pose, feel free to rock the head from left, right, right, left a few times. Continue to decelerate, allow the breath to come back to its natural cadence. Nice, take a round of breath, deep inhale. 
and smooth exhale. Nice. Go ahead and put pressure into all 10 finger pads. And then once more, just pull yourself forward, flatten all the way down to your belly. All right, as you flatten all the way down to your belly, bring your arms out to a cactus shape. And then we'll do the right side first. So scoot your right elbow just above your uh, right shoulder. So face you. So as you bring your elbow above the right shoulder, you're not rolling onto your bicep. You're keeping the elbow fixed, tent up through the left finger pads, and then just roll onto the right hip. So your right arm is just fixed wherever uh, it rests. And then the goal here is to open up to the right pec, the area by your right armpit. So this tends to get really tight if you're sitting at a desk for really long periods of time. Take one more deep breath. And then make your way back towards center. Nice, go ahead and organize your left elbow. So scoot it just above your left shoulder. Tent up through the right finger pads and then roll onto your outer left hip. So once more, you're not rolling onto your bicep. You're keeping the elbow fixed and then just shifting weight onto your left hip. Perhaps the right leg stacks on top of the left leg. Perhaps the right leg goes behind the left leg. But just keep the elbow out wide. Take one more breath. Nice. All right, make your way back towards center. Beautiful. Come to all fours. Then swing your legs out long in front of you. So all the back bendy stuff we've been doing, we'll, uh, we'll do the counter action forward bendy stuff. So with your legs out really long in front of you, any amount of bend into your knees is cool. If you're working with tighter hips, then I recommend you prop your hips up onto something like a blanket or just roll your mat over a few times so that the hips are a little elevated. With the legs out really long, arms extend all the way up, Lengthen through the spinal column. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips any amount. So the expectation is that you don't have to grab a hold of your feet. That's not really important. What's important is the spinal column stays long, so the low back isn't uh, rounding a whole lot. So you can mitigate that by bending into your knees, allowing the chest to draw towards the thighs. And then feel the sensation through the backs of your legs. Take one more smooth breath. And then vertebra by vertebra rise all the way back up. Okay. So wide angled forward bend. So legs out the opposite ends of the room. Your mat. And then feel the pelvis kind of tilt forward a bit. So visualize the pelvis drawing all the way up and over your thigh bones. Long, long spinal column. Hinge at your hips any amount. You can crawl the hands forward, support your chest, your torso. Or if you have a range of motion, you might be dropping down to your forearms or all the way down. But while you're here, feel the sensation of dragging your heels towards your sit bone. Lightly flex your toes towards your shins. One more big breath. And then gently make your way back towards center, rising all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Beautiful. Keep this, bend your left knee, sole towards your groin. So, part of John Yusha Shapsna, revolve head to knee, arms extend all the way up. And then twist on over towards your right, fold down towards your right knee. So if you get the grip here, great. If you do not, also great. You can bend to your knee any amount. And then you'll feel a stretch to the left QL, left side of your body, as you fold down. Let's continue to slow down the breath, notice the cadence of it. Yeah. 
Nice. One more breath. And then slowly rise all the way back up. Keep this shape. Allow the left knee to track all the way up. And then either keep your foot here or left foot to the outside of your right thigh. It really doesn't matter. Left hand behind your left hip. Lengthen through the right arm. Two options. You're either hugging your shin or bring your tricep to the inside of your right thigh and twist. So as you press the ground away from you, you got a really, really long spine. Gaze past the left shoulder if that's okay with your neck. Just one more breath here. Nice little counter twist to the right. Both hands to the outside of your right hip. Soft bend into your elbows, drive the chest down, left sit bone lifts. And then make your way back towards center. Nice, release your right leg. Come back to Upavishto Konasana, wide angle forward bend. And then we'll switch. So you'll bend your right knee, sole towards your groin. And then from here, you'll lift all the way up long spinal column, twist towards your left, pull down towards your left knee. You get a grip great if you do not, also great. Any amount of bend to your left knee that you need to do is cool. Now the entire torso would be really heavy towards your left leg. You got one more deep breath. And then vertebra by vertebra rise all the way up. Beautiful. Track your right knee all the way up towards the ceiling. Either the right sole can stay by your groin or you can step it to the outside of your left leg. Just whatever is working for your body today. Right hand behind your right hip. Lengthen as you reach your left arm up. Nice. Two options. You're either hugging your shin or tricep to the inside of your right thigh. Use that as leverage to twist. So once more, as you press the ground away from you, feel the crown of the head reach up. And then you're either hugging your shin in a little closer or you're pressing your triceps onto your right thigh so you can feel the twist. One more breath. Beautiful, slowly undo it. Release your right leg. And then come all the way back towards Dandasana. So top of your rather legs out long. Next, then recline all the way to your back. All right, as you recline all the way onto your back, just a very, very simple back bend. Bend both knees. Allow the heels and ankles to be underneath the knees. And just one time, bridge pose. Big inhale breath. Lift the pelvis, low back, mid back, upper back. Anything that feel, rather, squeeze through the inner thighs as you lift your hips up. And then any arm variation that works for you if you typically utilize one in your bridge pose. Keep a squeeze through the inner thighs, glutes. And then slowly lower upper back, mid back, low back. A Supta Baddha Konasana, soles the feet to touch knees out really, really wide. Allow your hands to rest wherever feels comfortable. Close both knees in together like a book. Both knees towards your chest. Right ankle up and over your left thigh. Stay here or any interlacing behind your left hamstring or in front of your left shin. Press your ankle into your left thigh. Right knee tracks forward. All right, keep the shape of your legs, release your bind, and then just allow both legs to fall over towards your left. So you'll land on your outer left hip, 
your right foot will still be on the your right foot will be on the ground rather, and then the right knee points up towards the ceiling. So it's like the figure four just fell onto its left side, and then right arm can draw up and out like a wing. You want to grab a hold of the top of your right foot with your left hand. You can go for that as well. Beautiful. Go ahead and release your grip if you have it. Come back towards center. And then gently release that. Left ankle up and over your right thigh. Any interlacing that might work for you outside of your left hip. Rather out or behind your right hamstring. You're feeling a stretch on the outside of your left hip. Then continue to keep the head, neck, shoulders really, really heavy. Nice last breath here. Beautiful. Release your grip, keep your legs as is, and just allow both legs to flop over towards the right. So you'll land on your outer right hip, left knee tracks up towards the ceiling. And then Stamp your left foot onto the ground. If you did so, other side, take your right hand, grab a hold of your left ankle. Left arm can draw up and out like a wing. Or any supine twist variation. Yeah, you got it, Elaine. Nice last breath here. Beautiful, make your way back towards center. Hug both knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Squeeze all the muscles in your face, draw your forehead to your knees. Sip in a little more air here. And then release Shavasana, corpse pose, arms out, legs out. Everything super, super heavy. As always, if seated meditation resonates a little better for you, go for that. Otherwise, everything really, really heavy that's in contact with the mat. Just give yourself the time, the space to rest, to be still, just a few moments. I'm still here, even though it's nice and silent. And then I'll guide you out when it's time.
Begin to register the feeling of the back body, how heavy it is. If you're seated, how heavy you've seated. Then begin to draw a deep anchoring inhale through your nose. Deep anchor and exhale at your mouth. And then gently begin to rock the head from left, right, right, left a few times. And then in your own time, arms extend all the way up and overhead. And give yourself a nice big old full body stretch. Transition over to your favorite side, utilizing a supported field posture, bicep X as a pillow. And as always, thank yourself for taking time out of your day to be here in your body. And when it feels right, use your opposite palm, press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Maintain your softness in the gaze or allow the eyes to stay closed, hands towards heart center, under them will draw your heart seal. And so thank you all for sharing your practice, your energy, your breath, your presence, allowing me the honor to guide practice. And then together we draw the thumbs to the right center, lift the chin up just a little higher. And it's here where we acknowledge your mutual love and respect for each other, for this practice, for this community. And then thumbs to the lips where we see on the breath. And then finally thumbs back to the heart where we feel our heart beat. And this reminds us that our hearts beat the same, our blood courses the same. At the end of the day, we're one and the same. And then it's also from this place that we bow forward to each other with love and with gratitude. To each of you, I bow forward to. Namaste. Great work. Thank you. You got it. Thanks for being here. Let me know if you have any questions, anything I can do to support your practice. I got a lot of time. <laughs> Don't we all? I got a lot of time, so yeah. If you feel inclined, again, donations are always appreciated, but no expectation for that. Thank you. You got it. Have a great rest of your night. You too. <laughs>